So I'd like to introduce TSIU, our brand manager, Remy Vila, design manager, Fabian McGovern, design and product, Antoine Lefebvre, where's Antoine? Antoine right here. Scott McGurcher is here somewhere. Great. So all incredible guys, TSIU came over some 10, 12 years ago, and it's uh, incredible. Passion to work with somebody with the passion, the drive, and the organizational skills. He's unique, you know him, because I'll be quite like Tiesta. So he will present the rest of the crews and our teams over here. He will take care of all that. So thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks everybody for being here. Basically, this unidirectional carbon fiber here will stop the board from cracking transversely under the foot straps, between the foot straps or between the mass track and the, uh, the front foot straps. It's a very, very efficient way of preventing the wall from breaking because all the fibers, these carbon fibers are high tensile T700 fibers, they all 100% work against the breakage. And the net weight increase of this fiber, because it's only 80 grams per square meters, and this is actually exactly a square meter, we're adding only 80 grams to the weight of the board. So what we're trying to do is make sure that you guys, when you're selling a Starboard Wayboard, you know that you're really selling something that is virtually undestructible on, on jumping. On our head of wave design, Scott Pressure. Okay, first up, the Costa code, as it's referred to, um, uh, all changed throughout the uh, entire range for this year. Uh, main features being uh, shorter length, uh, being reducing swing weight, just fitting tighter into pockets, um, you know, just more maneuverable, more control, less nose swinging around the front, um, and softer rails forward. Uh, that's smoother turns. Um, and more control when you know, coming out of the lip, landing, um, easy recovery through the soft rails. Um, and each board, variation of the thing, there's a slight outline change through the back. Like another, the 87 had a little bit more width there, just a little bit more curve on the rail, a little bit more slurp through the turn. Um, each board had this slight evolution. Um, you can see a little example of these things with Danny Brush and Philip. You can see they're a full rail carving board, you know, if, if you want it to be. But then the, the element of the twin fin is that uh, it has, you know, good release. So you see Philip at any time, any moment, he can just let the pins go and, uh, and bring back control. Amazing talent as well, and that this, this one exemplifies how easy he can just get the release and spin and, and come back, rail, soft, control, but then Danny showing still a grip, you know, full carving turn. Um, and then, you know, short distance between waves, acceleration that uh, Phillips able to achieve and the height that he can boost. He's an amazing young man. Um, yeah, onshore blasting. European conditions, but still, you know, avoid it that anyway. 